It's time to meet Dr. Dum Dum of the Day. Thank you, Chris. Today's Dum Dum comes from Plainfield, Connecticut. Okay. 57 year old Brian Connolly maybe wasn't aware of the statewide burn ban that Uh-oh. went into effect October 26th. That's because things are dry, dry, dry. Sure. And sadly, Brian's dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> It started innocently enough. Last Sunday afternoon, Brian was trying to start a fire in a fire pit in his backyard. Okay. In a residential neighborhood. All right. Shortly before 4 p.m., multiple calls started coming in about thick smoke in the area. Mm -hmm. Authorities tracked it to Brian's backyard, and once they got there, they discovered quite a bit of it was ablaze. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Not sure how big Brian's yard is, but roughly 50 square feet of it was consumed by a brush fire. Oh, no. (laughs) That fire had also melted about 50 feet of a vinyl fence. Oh, and spread to a neighbor's yard. Oh. And ignited some shrubbery. Uh-oh. And eaten a few gardening <laughs> tools. No. Now that's a fire. It sure is. <laughs> the only thing they didn't find was Brian. Right. His wife told them he'd been in the yard having a fire, but had left to go to the store. Okay. They were still there when Brian got home, and you're going to love this. He told them, well, yeah, he'd been trying to light a fire, but could not get it to light. Okay. So he had to run to the store to buy more matches. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Brian. <laughs> I think you're better at lighting a fire than you think. Uh-huh. Brian was arrested. Sure. And charged with reckless burning. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. And sometimes a dum-dum who didn't know he had started the fire. <laughs> Put down the matches, Brian, and back away. You are Doc's dum-dum of the day. That right.